Hello, I'm Matteo, the Chief Mobile Opinionist at the Tech Travel Geeks, and this is the Tech Travel Geeks unboxing and first impressions of the Feel T1X wireless earbuds. These are Bluetooth 5 earbuds from Feel. If you don't already, please do subscribe to the Tech Travel Geeks here on YouTube. Right then, we have a set of Feel One T1X earbuds. These are Bluetooth earbuds, Bluetooth 5 earbuds, which are actually in a much higher price range than the Bluetooth earbuds we usually unbox and review. So these are around about $90 both on Amazon in the US and on GearBest.com. And what I'm going to do now is obviously get into the cellophane with my blunt scissors. And we can have a look at what this product is like on the inside. So here we see the packaging is obviously made for retail for shops. It's got a little hanger bit. And you see feel branding, it says that it has up to 24 hours listening time and they're IP65 rated, so they have some sort of waterproof rating. Now, not only that, one of the key features of these earbuds is that they have apps for iOS and Android. And you can get the apps in the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store. Now, let me see, is there another bit here? No. So these are starting to come out. They don't slide straight out. You need to loosen the box a little. And then once you do, here's the box itself. So on the inside, you've got start off really clearly with instructions on how to take the earbuds out of the box and charge them and synchronize them with the app. And this is probably one of the tidiest sets of earphones in a box that we've seen in a while. You have a bit of embossed branding with Feel the Art of Audio. Now let's start off with the case itself. Take the plastic sleeve off. So it seems to be a nice solid case. It seems to be shallower than other devices we've seen in this category, such as Soundpeats ones. But I'm going to start by taking them out and putting them into the case to give them a bit of a charge. So this one will go in here. Left and right. There we go. They're in the case. So I'll close that and it's obviously charging those with the charge the device comes with. And if we look at the back, this is obviously a newer product. It has USB Type-C for charging. So if you have an Android smartphone, these are most likely the charger cable that you already have for charging. If you have a newer iPad, that's the same there as well. If you have an iPhone, you might need to get an adapter or a separate cable for that, but we'll see what's in, in the box under the foam. So we have here very neatly packed user manual with a little plastic bit and you can see that it has very detailed information on the setup and use of your your feel earbuds and more importantly here you have a usb type a so the standard usb to usb type c cable so this is for charging the case and then you have a set of replacement earbuds earbud tips in the box to replace the ones that are here if that these don't fit your ears. So what I'm going to do is charge these up. I'm going to install the app on an iPhone, the iPhone 11 in this case, and the Xiaomi Redmi Note 9S. And I'm going to use them in the use case of a video call, listen to some music, podcasts, audiobooks, and then come back to you with some first impressions of the Feel T1X earbuds. So bear with me, I'll be back in a moment. Okay then, I'm back after a good chunk of time testing the Feel T1X earbuds. And I have to say, I'm really, really impressed. In terms of sound quality, there's plenty of bass, plenty of treble, just with basic settings without installing the app. It did a really good job in terms of use for music, video, 
audiobooks and podcasts. So I was happy with that as it was. I would say in terms of sound quality, they were on a par with, if not slightly better, than the Urbanista Paris, which we've been reviewing previously. So really, really good earbuds with just the basics without installing their app. So I then went ahead and installed the app on the iPhone 11 and the Xiaomi Redmi Note 9S. And it's a really good app. So let's switch to that on. So it's under Feel Plus. It's available in both the Google Play Store and in the in the Apple App Store. Sadly, it's not available in the Huawei App Gallery just yet, and it's not available in the Amazon App Store. So let's open up these Feel Buds. Now, as you can see, I've been using these for a while. They're a bit unbalanced. You can see that it gives you battery reading per earbud. So I've got one at 48% and one at 100. I haven't properly charged these since unboxing them, but that's a really good starter. So you can use these independent of each other. So they have not only a waterproof rating, but they both have a microphone. So you can use one as a microphone, left or right as a hands-free with just one in. So that's a really good feature. And then once you've done that, you can also play around with the settings in the app itself. So you can set your EQ levels or your equalizer levels to be basic, so the standards preset. You can have high treble or high bass, and they handle things pretty well. And then if you want to, you can go into a lot of presets where you can mess around with presets for, say, pop music, R&B, dance. You can go for home theater mode, light music, classic, car stereo. So plenty of different presets for your liking for the type of things that you will be listening to using these earbuds. And then if you plug in your Spotify account, you'll be able to control that within the Feel app. I don't use Spotify. I use... I use Google Play Music, uh, now YouTube Music, and YouTube itself, YouTube Actual. But that's not really an issue when you're using the app itself. So I also tried out YouTube and played video in Netflix. And I'm pleased to say that there was no real issues with lag. So sometimes with Bluetooth headsets, there's a bit of lag between what's happening on the screen and what you have here in your ear. There seems to be none of that. So I watched not only a clip from Eurovision, the movie, the Fire Saga story. I watched a bit of Michael Fisher, Mr. Mobile on YouTube, and it was all clear and perfect. I had no issues with that at all. And I have to say, the case is nice and compact. Nice sound quality. Overall, really, really good set of wireless headphones that also feel solid. So these feel get the seal of approval from the Tech Travel Geeks. We will be doing a full review in the coming weeks that will be in written form on the Tech Travel Geeks website. So keep an eye out there for the full review. But in the meantime, we hope this unboxing and first impressions was useful to you. For now, thanks for watching. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the Tech Travel Geeks here on YouTube. And thank you for watching. Goodbye.